Hi, my name's Simon from Motor Drone, which is www.moto-drome.com. Today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off in the snow. Um, this 2005 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 that you can see behind me um, certainly looks good. Uh, we'll see how it drives. Hope you like the videos. Okay, let's have a look around this rather stunning looking, in my opinion. Um, 2005 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 in six seater spec. Finished in what I think is Epsom green. I say I think in that originally this one was Coniston green. And uh, uh, according to the, the previous owner or the, the people we got it from, uh, it belonged to the managing director of a uh, BMW dealership um, out in the Cotswolds. And uh, it was his personal car. And he had it repainted a couple of years ago in the BMW workshops. And I have to say, they've done a really, really good job of it. It looks stunning. Um, Say, so I'm afraid the snow's falling on it a little bit now, so uh, any white bits you see are snow rather than uh, chips and stuff, but it's excellent, the paintwork on it. Other spec, it's got gloss front bumper, gloss black front bumper, a nice set of black boost alloys with BFG mud terrain TAs on it, um, gloss black XS style side steps, black checker plate on the wing tops and the modesty covers, Obviously, it's got this big roof rack. If you don't want the roof rack, we can take it off, clearly. Um, mud flaps to the rear, dark tinted sliding side windows and rear window, uh, spare wheel cover, uh, rear step, adjustable tow pack, rear access ladder for the roof rack. And that's about it externally. Inside, we have, it's got central locking on this one. That's an aftermarket fit. It wouldn't have had that originally. Um, it's got these reupholstered seats. Now, I don't know if they're leather or plastic. I'll say they're leather, but, you know, because um, they do look a bit leathery. Uh, but they, they may just be sort of, you know, uh, faux leather or what have you. But they look leather. Uh, nice centre cubby box. Uh, a decent Pioneer DAB stereo, which um, all does what it should. I haven't checked the CD part of it or the USB, but the radio most certainly does. It's also got heated seats. Haven't tried those out yet. Let's give that a go. Uh, in the back, we've got the. Well, I should show you. Go around the back and show you. It's got easy clean mats and stuff in the front as well. And in the back, we have bulkhead removal bar, which is nice to see. Pair of twin bench seats. There are seat belts for two of the seats rather than four. So uh, seat belts are not a legal requirement. Oh, it's actually not either. What have we got here? That's one. Let's take this out and we can see. Yeah, only two. There's two seat belts per seat. Sorry, one seat belt per seat. Get myself confused now. But there we are spec wise. Now let's go around it and see if we can pick out any good bits and bad bits. I don't think we'll find many bad bits. As I say, the paint job is excellent. Um, presumably to BMW quality. Um, all around the front end, it's very, very tidy indeed. Apart from the snow falling on it. Bonnet is lovely underneath the snow. Uh, trouble is, if we waited for a sunny day, we'd never get any work done. Um, looking down the near side, again, really nice and straight down there. These wheels look pretty new. I think they were done at the same time as the paint, so a couple of years old. Let's have a look underneath here. A post, a little bit of discoloration on that bottom hinge, scuttle corner, a little bit of electrolytic reaction, or just bubbling up on the top here and just there. But that's about your lot. The screen rubber looks pretty new, and I don't think there's any chips in the screen. I know it's hard to see at the minute, but I haven't seen any up until now. Uh, any chips in the screen at all? Um, near side door, all looks very good indeed. Um, unusually, it's one of the earlier type doors for an 05 plate one. But the door bottom frame feels absolutely fine. No problems there at all. The only thing that's missing, same as the driver's door, is the escutcheon little, little plastic trim there, probably because of the central locking. They tend to um, get, uh, um, they tend to stick when they've got central locking with those. A little bit of bubbling just there. But otherwise, all looks good under here and up there. 
Uh, seats are obviously pretty new, um, as is, I think, the car, the uh, the the um, matting in the front, although there's a bit missing just there on the corner. It may have been a factory, um, not factory, but it may have been a production error. Uh, big speakers in the back, headlining slightly bowed in the middle, full length headlining. Um, slightly bowed as always, but uh, nice enough in the front, not too badly marked. Cubby box is in good shape. Looks like someone's refurbished the interior again fairly recently. Um, carrying on round. A little bit of reaction just there on the back of the roof. And a couple of blemishes just where the rear windows have been let in. Originally, I think this would have been a hard top van. It's been converted. Let's go underneath here. You can see enough in there. Around the tail end, let's open the door and you can see the rear cross member properly. We haven't um, coated or painted the cross member at all. It's exactly as it is. A little bit of reaction just up there on the very edge of the, uh, the body rear trim. Um, door card, bit marked. Obviously done a bit of work in the past. Let's go around here and have a look at that part of the cross member. All good there. Back in here. Again, rear seats look pretty new. It's got the nice big Land Rover mat in here. It's a nice place to be, I think. Uh, oh, I didn't check if the tailgate was... Tailgate is the later type with the rounded edges. And again, feels pretty good. One or two bubbles just under the bottom here, but um, it is the later tailgate. So uh, although it's, it's still got its original color on the very inside of it, it's Coniston green. Um, looking down the offside, again, very, very straight and tidy. Offside rear wing, all looks splendid. Okay, one or two spots of electrolytic reaction on the roof. Um, carrying on down. Again, we'll go underneath. Um, offside front door, all good. Offside front wing, again, all good. Again, have a look under here. And then up here. And then interior wise. Okay, oh, oh, actually no, this is a newer type door on this side. So obviously then, Offside one is an original. This is a newer type door on the near side with the uh, with the rounded corners. Um, so no rust problems with that. Again, no escutcheon on there. Tiny bit of wear on the uh, seat box trim. Seats are in excellent shape, pretty new. Showing 113,000 miles. But yeah, there we have it. Um, it looks splendid, it really does. Very nice looking example. So anyway, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Okay, a quick video of the engine running on this 2005 Land Rover Defender 90. Um, one thing you can see at the back there is the original colour. Originally it was green, but uh, looks like Coniston green rather than the Epsom green it is now. Uh, but engine runs nice and smoothly. I've just done about 10 miles in it. Running nice and uh, no issues at all that I can find. No funny noises. Pull back a bit. Sorry about the snow, but uh, it is winter after all. Anyway, there we have it.